Uh, Alrighty, howdy, 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 my darling Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for June, Leo. Alright, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Leo. Alright, and be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Leo. Alright, but other than that, let's just get right into your tarot reading here today. All right. In your first row, what we have going on here is the moon energy, the page of swords, as well as the seven of pentacles coming in here. All right. I see for many of you guys, Leo, right now, uh, communication seems to be like this issue here. Maybe you're waiting to hear back a message from uh, from a message from somebody from something that you have invested a lot of energy into. Right. Maybe you've been nurturing some type of relationship or job and you've been waiting to hear back if it's going to be uh, successful or not. What have you feels like you've been left in the dark for a little bit. And I do see clarity coming in in that regard. All right. And so then for your second second row here darling leo we got what's going on here the five of swords the four of pentacles as well as the world card coming in here for you all right Ooh, darling some of y'all have been having someone something from the past making its appearance right back into your life here um i get like this message of just being like why is it now coming back in why are they now coming back in why is this job now making this offer right when you finally have started to move on right and when you're doing other things that's what i get with this it's like there's something that just like came in um some type of news that might be coming here from the past and it's going to be putting you in your head where you're just like man should i be taking this back is this a sign like you're asking yourself is this a spiritual sign is there a reason as to why this is making its appearance back in your life again is something that i'm hearing you ask all right and then for your third row here aries or not aries leo we have here the queen of cups the ace of wands as well as the lover's energy coming in here all right so with this situation here uh leo i want to be saying that there's something there's, there's there's definitely something that you feel very strongly gravitated to and for whatever the reason is it's like their reaction it's either their reaction or how things have been panning out it's kind of like having you in this place of questioning where you're just like well wait a minute here is this meant for me it's like you're questioning a lot of things like having like a, a quarter life crisis here leo where you're just like asking yourself for a lot of things is this meant for me is this meant to be happening you might be feeling like you're getting some mixed signals from a situation being like all right like i thought this was meant for me i thought this person really liked me i thought this opportunity this job was meant for me but it's been like a little bit of a dry spell right that's what i hear it's just like a dry spell it's just like you're not really sure you're not quite sure how to read the room because it's like what your intuition was telling you and like what actually is happening are two very different things all right so let's start taking in these messages here <clears throat> leo i do want to be saying here that when it comes to people in your life right now you're going to be feeling really drawn to pulling like pulling out here all right you're gonna be feeling really drawn to like pulling out your investments with the situation and i feel as if you need to wait like and i'm normally a darling leo my regular darling my regulars know that I'm the last person to tell somebody to like um, wait it out when it comes to a connection. I'm always the first one to be like, ah, girl, if they're not showing you the love or, you know, if they wanted to, they would. That's very much so my motto. So it's just like, got it. Like, I'm very good about cutting things out. Right. But I feel as if for you, Leo, it's like what it is that you're initially receiving intel on is not exactly like the truth of the matter. Does that make sense, Leo? What it is that you're receiving intel on is not exactly the truth of the matter. So maybe you just be the sense, like with some of you guys, it's just due to the sense of nervousness that someone is feeling towards you, right? The sense of hesitation in when it comes to communicating with you, especially if you guys have been, especially with this moon energy here, um, it's giving me like the sense of like closing off distance, whether this is like a long distance thing here, Leo, or whether this is just like y'all haven't talked in a while. So there's this like, you know what it is? It's like an awkward phase. It's like y'all have to go through the awkward phase, Leo. And then afterwards, that's when things can go really good here. But it's just like it just has to get through that awkward phase. All right. Don't let your thoughts get to the best of you here. 
because what I'm seeing with the situation here, Leo, is just like, just like you are nervous about the situation, the, on the other side, it's just like, there's a lot of other party, like whatever party members are also involved in your life at this point in time, they're also nervous as well, Leo. They have some stuff going on here. It's like, they're trying to read the room just in the same way that you are, but they might just be a little bit more socially inept or they might just have, you know, you are not alone in like the overthinking aspect is what I want to be saying here, all right? I don't feel like it's a waste though. I really don't. I feel like the feelings are mutual, whatever those feelings are. I feel like the intent, y'all are definitely on like the same side when it comes to things. Y'all both are wanting the same thing, wanting to accomplish the same things here. But it's just like, it's just that awkward phase, Leo. That's what I really get with this is like an awkward phase. But I could be wrong here, Leo. All right, sometimes I am, darling. So let's get some clarification here. Maybe the clarifying cards can clock me. All right, so let's start this. <clears throat> we have this moon energy coming back out. Two of Cups and then the Spirit of Swords. Hold up. This is literally... <laughs> <laughs> This is literally what you almost already had. Instead of the page, you got the ace of swords here. So definitely it's communication, all right? You're going to be getting a lot of clarity when it comes to this relationship, whether this is platonic, whether this is romantic, darling, whether, you know, that's your business, all right? But you guys are definitely going to be getting the clarification. There's definitely some thoughts, some feelings that someone has been holding back for a while now. And this is literally the confirmation that I was suggesting. So can I just say, Leo? I was right <laughs> about this, where it's just like, it's just an awkward phase. There's a lot of emotions that are being felt. There's a lot of things like, it's like this person, you know what it is, Leo? It's like this person wanted to take action with you on something. It's like they wanted to offer you something, whether it's just like some, you know, like it, I'll use this analogy. It's like someone wanted to like, and like propose to you, for example, or want to ask you out, Leo. But then, like, when the time came to it, and you kind of had a suspicion for it, too. But when the time came, like, something, it just didn't happen. It didn't manifest, right? And I feel like it's, like, again, whether they just got too much in their head, Leo, or maybe just the environment didn't feel right when it started happening. You know, that's what I feel like is going on. But definitely, you're going to be getting, so, like, there's a lot of things that are being unsaid. All right. A lot of things that are being unsaid that once they're being said, it will actually bring you so much anxiety relief is what I feel. All right. <clears throat> so let's get into the second one. We have here the hermit energy, the 10 of rings, as well as the three of rings coming in here. I see for you guys right now, Leo. All right, I feel like for my Leos that are really going to be, I see some of you guys really buckling down and really focusing in on your money. All right, and I feel like you guys are gonna be really rewarded for that there, Leo. Really rewarded for putting down, putting the focus uh, on to your career here. All right, I see some potential situations where either you could be, start befriending someone in the work environment or getting like some type of mentor or doing some type of uh, collaborative thing, working together with somebody on something here. All right. But I feel like for some of you guys, Leo, you like the best thing that you could be doing at this time is like for some of you guys, you might be exhausted currently. Let's be real. You might be exhausted when it comes to relationships and just like going through that awkward phase. You, some of y'all are going to be feeling more so drawn, Leo, to being like, you know what? Relationships just are not my thing right now. Right. Friendships, family. I just don't want to deal with it, Leo. Right. You as being the Leo. Um, and so I see for those that choose to take a break when it comes to your social relationships relationships and just be about your money you're greatly rewarded for it all right i do feel as if even though um leos y'all are giving me this energy right now where it's just like you don't want to be part of a group project you know you it's like the very much so it's just like where the teacher says like all right everyone gets get in pairs of three and you're like Ugh, like you don't want to work with anybody right i feel like you want to be challenging that all right Excuse me, I had a date earlier. <laughs> uh, you want to be challenging that, Leo. You want to um, make it a point to even at the very least get someone else's perspective on like, you know, if you want to do like, as in just an analogy, like content creation, you may want to just take it all on on your own, but you would benefit greatly if you were to just seek out help more than just getting like the insight, like you would like, 
a lot of things would change up in a very positive way for you. Let's just say that, Leo, if you were to outsource a little bit, all right, get some other people's opinions instead of being such a lone wolf. You know, there's a time and a place to be a lone wolf, but I don't feel like it's not now is that time. You have the judgment energy here, the eight of wands, as well as the queen of cups coming in here. Definitely a lot of forward movement. It feels as if when I whenever I see this uh, judgment card coming in here, Leo, I always associate that with spirit, uh, spirit, the universe, darling, whatever you want to, you know, darling, there's all these terminologies. Sometimes I can't even keep up, but it's like from the other side, there's like some action being taken um, to uh, have things going, to get the ball going here. All right. Um, a lot of movement, eight of wands. That's a card of movement, queen of cups. It's whatever it is that you are desiring here, Leo. Um, it feels like your spiritual team acknowledges what it is that you want to accomplish what it is that you want to manifest for some of you guys it's goes back to that relationship right making you know getting through that awkward phase but something i want to point out with the queen of cups here and of course i don't think it showcases it in this artwork of it but the queen of cups is called the queen of cups but she's never holding a cup she's holding a trophy and most artworks of the queen of cups is oh we have the queen of cups right here of course so i can show it here right it's a singing bowl it's not a cup right and so most artworks of it it's usually the queen looking at the uh trophy is usually what she's accompanied by so it's like she's keeping her eyes on what it is that she wants to accomplish and so spirit sees what it is that you want done and so just be anticipating um spirit making things happen at a quicker pace when it comes to this stuff here to start rectifying things bringing things to the light here all right um it feels as if like that's how things start getting lifted from that moon energy here leo is due to um your spiritual team take putting in that effort to have it come to the light and so be paying attention to uh different signs and omens repetitive numbers in whatever way that looks like for you right maybe maybe uh ladybugs or cardinals have a spiritual significance to you you're going to be starting to see signs of spirit um actively working into the physical to make things happen for you all right so you're definitely being spoiled by all the right things all right so leave an offering for your ancestors darling but um leo that's the tarot reading that i have for you this week for june all right darling if you enjoy this tarot reading today let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe leo all right if you want to book a private reading with me my website's always linked down below simplyvelka.com as well as follow me on social media tiktok and instagram both being simply velka same as here darling but until next time leo i love you so much darling and i'll talk to you later <laughs> bye